you making bone gang and welcome back oh my gosh look at that lens how you making bone gang and welcome back to another episode uh, I was sitting here editing this video that you're about to watch and I realized I didn't do an intro so I'm doing it now you'll hear me when I uh, first start talking on the GoPro uh, about me just getting through making some trails in the marsh and uh the next day putting out some deer stands and you know mentioning that there was going to be a video coming up soon about that well me being the genius that i am i accidentally deleted a lot of the gopro footage uh, yeah of us putting up the deer stands but anyway i still do have a lot of footage uh you know of us doing that and me making a trail and all so if you would still like to see that video i'm sure i can put something interesting together let me know in the comments below but uh yeah well enough jibber jabbering let's uh Get right into the video. All right, guys, it's windy. Hopefully, this little uh, dead cat on this little microphone on the GoPro works, and it's not too much wind noise for y'all. But I just got back from making trails in the woods. Well, not in the woods. I just got back from making trails in the marsh to go put my deer stand up tomorrow. So I don't know if that video is gonna come out before or after this one. But anyway, it is such a beautiful day. Our first cool front, our first actual cool front of the year. I didn't feel like going back in. So I'm gonna do some fishing while we're out here. It is a little too windy for this, but I don't wanna go home. So whether we catch anything or not, we're gonna enjoy this beautiful weather. The last time me and the wife came out to this spot, I didn't film, and we ended up catching a bunch of fish. So I figured I'd slap on the GoPro and give it a whirl, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, look at this. We're, the troll motor's not even on. We're just moving with the current and the wind blowing us out into the lake. Ooh, just seen something chasing bait. And nothing. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. That sucker scared me. Oh, there we go. Nice little bass. Take that. It's a good little eater. That dude caught me off guard. I was sitting there daydreaming. Take that. All right, they got some current right there. We might be in a good spot right here. Let's, uh, let's park it for a second. All right, I'm just going to leave the camera on because we just hooked up on another one. Hey boy, another eater. That's what I like. They're not too big. I mean, we don't get them too big around here, but that will certainly make a nice sandwich. match. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of bunny bread, a little bit of blue plate. Got yourself some lunch. That's what I'm talking about. Whoop, and got excited. Happens when I get a little excited sometimes, just you know, you send it just a little too hard and well, there you go. All I'm using is this little white swim bait. That'll uh, underspin. Reeling it back nice and easy. Oh, 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 just had a miss. Toss it right back. Right back at him. And nothing. Like something was chasing something right there. Mm, nope. They're chasing bait again right there. Oh, and we've done it again. Man, come on. I know there's more than two in this spot. Yeah. Holy cow, I just noticed that. I don't know if y'all can see that on the GoPro, but that, that little thing right there in that cut, that's an alligator. He must just be waiting right there, waiting for the fish to come out. Check that out. That's a big boy, too. I didn't even notice him there. I guess I thought he was a log. Ooh, he just went under. All right, all right. Oh, yeah. He said he going fishing, too. Oh, yeah, he fishing. Save some for me, boy. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> got me. Daggum rock. Whoo, thought I had a monster. <sighs> I set that hook too, boy. There we go. Man, look at that. That's all bait right there. Little shiners or something. Man, look, you can see the ripple difference. Holy cow. I see something after them, but I don't know what that is. They ain't biting what I got. That is crazy. Man, there are tons of them. A little finger mullet? I don't know what that is. Holy moly, guys. I don't know if y'all can see that. That is a big gator. He's swimming clean across the lake. Good night. Where did he come from? That's a big boy right there. Hope y'all can see him. I'm having a hard time seeing him on the screen. Good night. That's a big boy. The head on that dude. Thought that dude was a log at first. Just resting now. You boy had him a long swim. it is several days later uh, sorry about the noise got the boiling pot rolling which brings me to my next point um, so I only caught those two fish brought them back home I got them cleaned up the day I, I brought them home but I haven't been able to cook them yet so I figured let's make this video a catch clean cook but this time we're gonna try it a little different uh, I was gonna make a sandwich you know fry them up get some blue plate mayo bunny bread make a delicious fish sandwich but for some reason the wife lost her mind and uh, looked in the fridge and there was wonder bread in my refrigerator which I'm fairly certain is a deadly sin but we're gonna try something new anyway I've been wanting to try this with I heard people do it with sheephead and uh, some other fish, but we're gonna try it with the bass. I had, ooh, got dark on you there. There we go. I got some cheesecloth. I'm gonna wrap the fish up in cheesecloth, and I'm gonna stick them in this crab bowl. Got some crabs over the last couple days and decided to boil them up right quick. I pulled the fish out of the fridge, and I'm like, hey, let's try things new. And uh, we're gonna stick it in there, see what it tastes like. Probably gonna be a disaster. It's probably gonna fall apart. But from what I understand, when they do it with sheephead, it tastes just like crab meat, so let's give it a shot. There we go, I'm just gonna set y'all up right there so we can get this taken care of right quick. So I'm just gonna take my cheesecloth, open up the little bag of fish, just plop it right there on the thing. Got our four little filets, and I'm just gonna wrap it up, make it like a little sack, a little satchel. Try and get all the corners fish bag right now and I have or I had a bread tie somewhere well we lost our bread tie luckily there was a rubber band sitting on the table and there we go we got a sack of bass right there looks like the water might be boiling let's go check it out just chunk it right on in not sure how long we're gonna boil it. Fish don't take that long to cook, especially bass. I don't know. You know. When it's done, we're gonna scoop it out with this because I can't find my little metal ladle thing in my lover doodle. I'm gonna give it a try. Pretty excited. So we took it out of the pot um, and we was gonna taste it, but um Somebody else decided he wanted to taste it. 
So all we have now is an empty plate. And what I managed to stop him from eating before he choked on the cheesecloth. Oh, there's some more right there. A little bit right there. Tank, what do you have to say for yourself? Huh? What What do you have to say for yourself? At least tell us how it tasted. Don't you even think, don't you even think, yeah, uh-huh, good for you. Bad dog. Unbelievable. Well guys, next time we do a boil, we're gonna have to uh, try that again so I can let you guys know how it tasted. Apparently he liked it. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. I very much appreciate that. And, well, until next time, get outdoors, go hunting, go fishing, try new things, and make new memories. Because that's what it's all about.